Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grover Games. Uh, last episode, we were on our way over here, finally made it over here, got our tractor and wagon over here. We're going to get this barley harvest started. And I think this will be the last contract we do for the day, and then we're going to move into the next month. That's kind of the plan right now. We're going to get this fired up. And we'll get it unfolded. We're going to get to work getting this field done, so I'm hoping there's quite a bit left over for us. So I'm hoping there's a little bit, quite a bit left over for us. Sorry, I just kind of have to talk to the dog. He's being a little obnoxious right now if you can't hear him in the background. But I'm hoping we'll get quite a bit out of it, left over out of this to keep our chickens fed. Um, the other thing I'll have to do before we end the day is get our truck from the shop and make sure we get the chick, get that bag of wheat that we bought fed to the chickens. But we'll jump into the time lapse here and I'll see you guys in a bit.
make the most of this night come on baby take my hand and we don't need to do the things we don't want to do There we are, we got our neighbor's harvest all wrapped up, and I'm really starting to question the AI's driving capabilities as it shot across the field, jumped on the interstate, and this jumped across the interstate like that. But you know, sometimes it can be hard to find good help. So I think, I think we're going to have quite a bit from the leftover from the harvest neighbor's harvest which is going to be really good for us just because with our chicken barn we'll have enough feed for a bit and I'm I'm kind of hoping that the results from our neighbor's harvest will kind of help we hopefully reflect the yields that we'll be getting from our own because I, I'm not going to lie I've been a little bit nervous about with the size of our chicken barn and the rate we're going through feed for it I I'm a little nervous that we might have to plant all one crop every season which would kind of suck and that our only income would be from the chicken barn and produce granted the eggs do bring quite a bit of money but it's I just like having that other other option of income so to speak like being able to sell beans and canola and such I don't think I don't think canola makes that much money I'll have to, I haven't been watching the markets on canola just because I didn't know when I was planning planning to plant canola but obviously with the one neighbor doing what he they did and I just rather have a bigger bulk of crop to sell than just one odd one here and a, another odd one there. And I also noticed that we've gone through quite a bit of fuel for the combine already. We're already about a third of a tank gone for for a little over an hour, hour close to hour and one third. I think I'm trying to decide if I just close across the street quick to fill it up or just leave it and wait till we get a little lower well since we're already on the road we might as well just buzz across the street get it topped off and then we'll be good for a while again but I am liking this little combine a lot it's gonna like I said I think it's gonna be what we're gonna be kinda stuck with this thing for quite a while cuz when I was looking at, when I look at purchasing a new combine, I'm planning to go up, jump a whole size, if that makes sense. Right, can I fill up at these pumps back here? Does not look like it. back in a second. 
Uh, sorry about that. I just had to go check the check on the girlfriend. She came home and wasn't feeling well, but we're gonna get back here into it. Turns out those other pumps don't work even though they should. And it looks like the dog's playing on the road again. That's unfortunate. Well, you know what? We're gonna back this inside quick. Get the beacons off and get the dog some food here. Hopefully get them off the road. I have been kind of neglecting them every episode when I said I would be starting off with them, seeing how they were doing. But we'll get them to come off the road here. Maybe. Where did they go? Um, hmm. Well, they got food. Oh, there they are. I guess that's one way to eat. Well, let's get this offloaded here. Nice thing about this Kilbros wagon mod, even though it is slow on loading, you can, it's nice just because with the, what we're going to be doing here, we'll be able to stop it a little sooner. Before we get too much offloaded for extra income. Our beacon's on, so we're ready for the road. Ah, uh, come on. Open at least 4,000 liters. not getting as much as I hoped but it is better than nothing in our situation right now I mean 1800 liters will get us by let's go drop this off right away in the chicken barn the last thing we'll do for the day here is we'll have to go pick up our truck from the shop pick up I forgot we had a bag of seed there so we'll get that loaded up too And we'll get everything brought home and we'll get the other ba the big bag of chicken feed dropped off too for our chickens. And we'll be good to go. But I I honestly thought we were gonna get quite a bit more out of that, which is kinda disappointing right now. That is very disappointing. I was hoping at least, at least bare minimum 3,000 liters, but I was hoping more for four, but we're not even half of that. Pull into our steep driveway here. Could really find some time and fix that up. It does really bug me now that I, every time I go through there, I also haven't checked the used market today, I don't think. I don't recall. Let's back in there. There we go. And one thing I noticed about this truck too is I can't always jump in it, so it might be a little bit of errors in the file, but that's not the biggest deal in the world. I also noticed the camera's acting goofy because of the file bag in the back. Bio, uh, not bio bag, the big bag. I don't know why I said bio bag. Get our chicken feed home. And you know what? I just realized I dumped the feed into the bin. 
not the coupe like I was playing. But we'll have to fix that quick here. But yeah, I will just I'll get this stuff fixed up and we'll roll into the next day here shortly. All right, now we're in the month of July, and I can tell already, it looks like our wheat is finally ready to harvest, which is good news. Our canola is still another month away yet, which kind of sucks. I was hoping to get, get it all knocked out today. Right, we'll hop in the combine here, and we'll probably get the time lapse started here. We'll get everything going, so we'll see you guys in a bit.
We are just almost done here. Um, then we're gonna just drop this off in the bin right away, and I think, I think right now we're sitting pretty good for for food for our chickens. I still think we're a little short, but I picked up two contracts, and I think one of the fields is gonna be some feed for the chickens left over, so we'll have a little bit more there. Got a big dip there too, but. Yeah, if you didn't notice, I picked up two contracts. We're going to plan to do those next episode. That canola field back there, I'm just going to leave that for now. Get this out of the way. But yeah, we're just going to leave that canola field for now since we got this one up here to harvest yet. So, worst case scenario, we just move it to the next day. I want to get the neighbors' field, the two neighboring fields all done for them so that way they're happy. And hopefully we'll have we'll have enough food left over that we'll be able to keep the chickens happy for quite a while I mean I think we're sitting pretty good right now um and I think our next field I was thinking 52 but I think we're gonna go for 50 next because I'm still unsure if I'm gonna be able to get away with 
like doing 48, 49 as one field and making that my only wheat field and then rotating and everything. It's going to be one of those questionable things that we'll figure out along the way there. But um, otherwise, that's all I got. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can keep up to date. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And above all else, thanks for watching.